This is Jeffrey. And uh, yeah, the checkers all look nice and even. Yeah. Not really finding any issues at all with this. Um, this I would say is quite a bit stretched, especially on this side. Um, you can see that. So I think you're going to need some more cuts on this too. Kind of doesn't look like it's been really cut up at all. Um, can this be separated? Separate. Aha, uh -huh. that's going to make it a lot easier. Oh, I don't. Yeah, so I. It looks like that looks just like you didn't. You didn't do the UV layout. The other thing is, um, you've actually made these surfaces uh, the way you've done it. Let me just. If we. Um, you've got all these extra edges in here, just sort of complicating the issue because these, these middle edges here don't add any detail. Um, and what I think you've done is like done a bevel on the whole surface, which beveled inside edges as well, which doesn't uh, help you. Well, you've done several bevels here. Hmm. What I would say is yeah, if we um. I'm just going undoing back here. I'm just going to see if I can step backward through this. So let's see if we can get rid of the poly unite. Hmm. That just got rid of the whole history. Okay. Well, it's not that big of a deal. I, I would. I don't really like having those extra edges all around here. Um, but, anyways, there's no reason to have those combined, it just makes things more difficult. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty close to being a cube, so you might be able to just fix, instead of doing the whole kind of layout thing, you might be able to just fix this through some scaling. Let's isolate this. I'll show you with one, and then you could try to do it with the rest. Um, let's select the UVs, and just scaling it. Oh yeah, that seemed like that was helping. I'm trying to get these to be squares, you know. Um, that's not too bad, let's, what is that, is that this, yeah, hmm, just trying to pick that one side. Well, we'll probably want to do this other side at the same time, I guess, because those are should be the same. Oh, that's kind of messing it up. All right, let's try to do just this one side at a time. I'm just gonna select these also and kind of. Move this up a little bit, so I have room to uh, I'm deselecting these. I don't know. I feel like I'm making this. Whoops! I meant to scale. More complicated rather than less complicated. You know, this is instead of just slicing it up and doing the uh, UV light. Yeah, see, I'm getting all that kind of stuff. 
I don't know. I kind of think this is making it more complicated than just manual than doing the normal cutting it up thing. Um, so let's try it that way instead, because isolate this. Oops. Just kind of picking all the edges we want to cut. Double clicking on each one. Ooh, there's some little issue with your surface here. Yeah, and there, there's some overlapping faces. Okay, and I believe the hotkey is, what is it, Shift X? Yeah, I can see those got darker, which is the same as cut, yeah, Shift X right there. Okay, now that I've done that, um, I can select the faces and unfold, which is Control U, or it's, what is it, Modify? No, Unfold, Control U. Okay. And uh, layout is Control L, and pff, that looks pretty good. Yeah, let me just do that. I might scale these down just a touch to make sure they're fitting inside that quadrant. And uh, yeah, that looks like a nice even layout. So. Do, do that for the rest of them. Uh, those little ties there. I think we check that. Do we check this? A uh, little, little bit of stretching around the nose area. Let's see what our color feedback is telling us. Nothing too alarming there. I think the checkers look even enough that uh, nothing. I don't think any, anything's going to be terribly distorted. Uh, so yeah, you've done a really good job. Nice work. Just do the belt. This is Flora. Um, let's take a look. It's looking good. Pants are looking good. Ankles. Shoes. Um, little, little bit stretchy along the back here. Let's see what color feedback tells us. Huh. Oh, it's pretty white. Oh, why is that so red? Hmm. I don't know. It looks fine to me. I don't know why that showed up as so red. Seems fine. Um, yeah, it seems like a normal size. Um, it's, I don't know. Something glitchy with the color feedback. Oh, is that the same here? Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, this one's all messed up. Oh, um, yeah, so if you're having trouble with the transfer attributes thing, just, I'm just going to delete this, and then I can put the, um, where's my grid? Show grid, um, hold on, D and X, middle mouse drag to the center, control D to duplicate, uh, let's freeze transformations first, modify freeze, there we go, scale of negative one in the X, okay, so that's, if you can't transfer your attributes, you can just duplicate it over to the other side like so, okay, that 
that's looking kind of crazy. Not sure why, because it doesn't look quite so crazy in the UV layout. Yeah, this one looks okay. That is very odd. Huh. Can't explain that. Because when I look over here, this looks fine. Uh, but when I look at this, it looks all crazy messed up. So, better safe than sorry. I'll just do the same thing. DX. Oh, see, that one's got that. Let's actually, before I do that, let's freeze it first. Modify, freeze. Oh, why is it still at an angle? Hmm. I think if I... Yeah, that's, that's being weird. So I'll just, um, if I just group it to itself, control G, that will give me the proper thing, and then I'll scale negative one. Oops, let's duplicate it first. Control D for duplicate, scale negative one across. And <laughs> that's looking okay now. I don't know what happened with the other one. That's just weird. Um, just gonna isolate this. Got a little bit of stretching on the nose. Mostly this looks good. Let's see what color feedback tells us. Yeah, as I expected, but uh, you know, it should be alright. Hopefully, this skin texture won't make that too obvious. Um, and hair. Yeah, that looks good. Eyebrows. Fine. Great. Yeah, really good work. Should we get a mouth cavity going in here? Might want to, um, get a, uh, more of a mouth cavity going here. I'm just, just whoops. Whoops. Would I have snapping on or something? Huh. I'm just gonna scale this flat in this direction and then where's that circular eyes? Is that this one? No. This one too. Ooh, that did something funny. Let's scale it this way first. Just to get it flat in that direction and then try circularize. Yeah, that's better. Um, whoops. Shoot edge and move that back. Oh, well that messes up your UVs, but easy to fix. Anyway, so something like that to make a, a mouth interior would be good. And then you just might need to unfold again, or don't even worry about it that much because you're not going to see that inside of the mouth too much anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, normally I have the eyes pointed, um, oh, where's the pivot point on those? Oh, yeah. Center of the pivot, modify, center pivot, and 
Yeah, normally have the that part of the eye pointing forward. Yeah, good work on this. This is Gordon. I um, opened the file named Wilson Gordon Assignment 6.1, and there's there's nothing in there. Um, one thing I notice in the zip file is that uh, when I go back up here, unless you have it somehow in here or something. No. Um, we've got this OneDrive and downloads. Downloads? No. Anyways, it says documents and desktop, and then it has your file on your desktop. Your file should be in the scenes directory of the project that you're currently set to, not on your desktop. Anyway, when I open this file, I get um, nothing. So make sure your scenes files in the project folder of the project you're working in. Make sure you're being setting your project, you know, with file um, set project. And, uh, and then you choose your project folder, and your scenes file should be in your scenes directory. And then when you turn your file in, you should do file archive scene. So it's right here, file archive scene, and then turn in the zip file that that create, creates. But right now, I, I can't really look at your assignment. So if you could turn that in again, that'd be good. Um, before I start on um, Gwen's, uh, one thing, um, somehow the uh, .ma extension wasn't on your file name, and I had to rename it uh, to be able to open the file. So just make sure the .ma extension is on your file name. Let's take a look. Um, this looks okay to me. Actually, I think you might have cut it up too much. Um, Um, so let's try to sew some of that back together because I don't think all those cuts are necessary. And then lay it out again. So let's do a, um, cut, sew, move, and sew. Yeah, let's just grab this UV shell, move it, and then these two are where? Oh, over there? Okay, maybe not those two. Yeah, these two should move and sew in here. And these two, I can do G for most recent function. And then G again for most recent function. Oh, just make sure I do these. Just doing G for, and just doing move and so over and over again. UV show. Okay. And then maybe we can keep going with this. Maybe? I think so. Hmm. So, move and so. <coughs> And um, aha, that's interesting. We've got uh, an extra vertex there. Let's see if it'll let me delete that. And then I'll put back in this edge. Okay. And. Okay. Yeah, and probably this can go back together. And All right. So that should all be able to be one big piece. Um this is cut here and that should be, but this piece is now that and 
think that's going to be fine. So let's um, unfold that again and check the checkers on that. Yeah, it looks fine. That looks nice and even. Yeah, you didn't need to make all those cuts, and that's just going to make the texture painting more of a hassle. So, um, yeah, so that so that all back up. Let's just isolate the head here. Good. Let's see if what it says about distortion. It's pretty typical to have some distortion on the nose, unless you want to put a lot more cuts in there. But um, it should be okay because there's nothing that distinguishing about the nose because it's going to be, um, you know, it's the skin texture of some kind anyway. Is that happening? You get that? Oh, it's just when it's smooth, it's okay. Well, that's fine then. Yeah, the checkers look good there. Good. Yeah, I think it's looking really good. I don't really see any big issues. Let me check the shoes. Hmm. Don't really like the shoes. Why did one show up when the other one did? It's interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a little bit of distortion in here, but. Yeah, you can see some red and blue there. I might just... feels like there's a few too many cuts here, too. Like, you should be able to get away with less. There's actually quite a lot going on here. Like, I wouldn't have this one. Uh... Is it doing that? I'm gonna delete history, Alt Shift D. That's weird to me. Is it? That's not like a instance, is it? Is this an instance of that? Our foot shape. Our foot shape. It is an instance. Okay, you can't really have this be an instance. What I can do is do uh, modify, convert. Um, instance to geometry, where is that? Instance to object. But, see, did that work? I guess it did work, because now that. Yeah, see, that worked. But then you're going to have to fix this and probably duplicate it over afterwards, anyways. Just don't use instance when you do that. So I would probably sew that one, uh, move and sew, and so that's a pretty good piece, and this, I sh feel like you should be able to do this one, I'm just going to do G for most recent function, which is move and sew, and these two, because there's no reason why that shouldn't be able to be a piece, that kind of square there. And again, yeah, maybe these we can get rid of G and these. Because that's like a big rectangle that should be able to be a slice. Yeah, and then a few too many on the bottom of the foot. I would think you could have the bottom be one big thing. get rid of more, but let's do the, what's this little guy? Oh, is that something on the inside or something? Let's isolate this. Oh, I didn't really mean to isolate that one piece. I would think that 
this inside thing can be you should be able to get rid of at least one of these edges. So what I would do is to um, move and sew, or in this case you could just do sew because, oh, okay, let's do move and sew. Move and sew, and then do move and sew here, except, in fact, I won't do move and sew there. What I'll do is, you just need one cut in there somewhere. Actually, it's fine where it is. Let's just leave it. Uh, okay, so I have a few less pieces now because I think it was a bit too many. And uh, let's select the faces here and Control U for unfold and Control L for layout. And let's just scale them down just a tiny bit to make sure we're all in one quadrant. There we go. All right, see how it did. I think that's pretty good. Let's compare it to the other one now. Oh, why is it? Okay. Some areas actually look less distorted to me, or at least, yeah. A little there's kind of like this bend here that we don't have here. So I actually think you could do fine with a few less of those. And then you could either try transferring attributes or just duplicate the foot over to the other side. Um, why is that crotch area looking weird to me? <coughs> I guess that's all right. Okay. All right. And do we look at the hands? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, well, overall it's looking good. And the shoe thing isn't even a big deal either. It just it could be just less slices. I do think all those extra things you had on the... Oh, got to... Yeah, that looks good. All right. Okay, this is Craig. So you actually have a texture... Uh, check our texture on here. I guess makes it a little easier. Um. Yeah, I can't say I can really find any fault with this one. Um, it'd be interesting to see. Um, shows up any uh, distortion. It's all looking pretty white. Turn this off. Yeah, this looks really good. I, I um, just a tinge of red there, but that's not going to be a problem. This. Checkers all look really good. A little bit of red on the nose, but yeah, again, unless you want to really cut up the nose, you're pretty much bound to get that. Um, oh yeah, I have a nice big one for the head there, so um, yeah, I really can't find fault with this one. Good work. Um, just before I start this one, um, I noticed, so you've got, it's like I did your You've got all these different scene files, so well, you should your scene files should be in your scenes directory. And when you um, do this, uh, turn this in, you should do file archive scene, which will make a zip file. You should turn in that zip file, which normally wouldn't give me all those other ones. Um, so let's uh, just check this out. So for some reason those hand slices aren't in uh, a quadrant. Oh, there we've also combined them for some reason. So let's separate the hands. And let's just look at one of them and let's just lay it out, control L to get that in its own quadrant. 
Um, there's something. Was that before I did that? Yeah, it's pretty crunched up that thumb. Control L. Oops. So I'm not wanting to scale these down a little bit. Yeah, there's some overlapping edges and stuff too. I think you need um, some more slices here on the hand because um, otherwise see you've got these overlapping edges and you can't paint you'll just you know if you paint one part of the finger it'll paint the other part which isn't really a good UV layout so normally I would cut off each of the fingers and uh, I'll just show that real quick turn off this color feedback you never got back to me about the story with this hand, whether you created it or used a different tutorial or something, because it's not the same as I teach it. It looks like it was imported from something else. Um. Yes, that'll work. I don't know if that's going to really cut the fingers off because then we got to do these things in between. That one is. And then uh, in this window, I think it's Shift X. Yep, there we go. And then grab these faces, Control U to unfold, and Control L. Let's try that again. Control L. Okay. Not the best layout I've ever seen, but um, let's just make sure that they're in one quadrant. Okay, so that's a little cleaner, I think, and uh, there's no overlapping, so I think you're going to want to cut off those fingers. So I'd like to know if you made the hand or not. Um, and uh, yeah, a little bit of stretching over here, but nothing alarming. Something's a little wacky going on with the collar. Oh, you're all over the place. Yeah, and something is wrong here. So let's just try to do it again. First of all, Control U for unfold, Control L for layout. I get that all into one quadrant, all right? That's better, and they're more even now. Um, there's still the issue of all this stuff. Um, some weirdness with those pieces. And it's got a weird sort of tag hanging off of it. And yeah, and then these a little bit. So, I don't know. I, I guess it's not too big of a deal, but they do concern me a little bit. But they're kind of on the inside anyway. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll see if they get in your way later. Um, yeah, all of these are not laid out. So, I don't, I think you missed that step or something. Um, control L and then just scale it down a touch to make sure. Where's my scale? Um, so yeah, I guess it seems like the big thing is you need to, to, to do the layout step, which didn't seem to happen before. I'm just going to isolate this one. I think this uh, the model could use a little bit more work because the eye sockets look kind of weird right now and the lips look a little unfinished. There's definitely some issues with the UV layup around the chin. Again, uh, not un I mean the, the unfolding around the chin uh, and also not laid out again. So um, 
Let's just select a few of these UVs and see what that's. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't recommend cutting the face down the middle. Um, just because yeah, it's an obvious place to put a seam. But uh, either way, let me see what happens if we unfold again. See, that's better. You're not getting those weird things. So I just needed to unfold again. Control L layout and scale it down a touch to get it to fit in here, but I guess I don't really like the seam down the middle, so I would tend to sew that back together. And then lay it, uh, unfold and lay out again. Control U. Sometimes it seems like you have to hit it a couple times. And Control L. So it still seems like an okay layout. And then this, I don't know if I would do that separate, but I guess I'm not too worried about it. Alright. Um, and then this guy. Some stretching here. And again, I'm guessing you don't have it laid out. You don't. It's just spread out across all these different quadrants. Also, it's really boxy, this shape. I feel like this could use a little more modeling work because it's really flat and boxy. Um, can you round it out a little bit? There's kind of a big gap up there. A lot of space between his forehead and the front of the cap. I might try to fit it a little bit more in the front there. So yeah, you need to, um, all of these you need to lay out. Um, this is problematic. Uh, I wonder what happens if I unfold. Oof. Yeah, I think you need to do some uh, looks like those are cut so I'm a little bit surprised it did such a bad job laying out. Actually, I mean I think it's just uh, oh yeah, there's some real serious stretching and all this stuff. It's kind of this piece right here which is part of the problem. Can I just unfold that? Why is it going so berserk when I do that? I think it wants... It's cut at either end. I'm just going to double check that these are all cut. Um, shift X. Actually, I just do all of those. Shift X. Just to make sure. And try unfolding again. Sure don't like that. Uh, maybe it needs a cut along here somewhere. Yeah, that's just down the middle there. So let's do that. Shift X. And now I think it might unfold better. Nope. Oh, that's interesting how there's like a few shells on top of each other. Maybe that's part of what's going on here. Boy, is that doing a strange... 
I wouldn't think it would have any problem. Well, I might try to do this a little bit more manually. Yeah. right make these the same yeah uh, I don't know why it's being funny oh and that one's a full loop around okay Just trying to turn these into more square shapes. And let's get this to fit within the within here. All right. Well, that's looking better. I don't know why I've had to be quite so manual with it. I think this will need another split. Shift X, and then let's see how that does if I unfold that. Oof not like what that's done. Is there more than one shell here or something? Yeah, there kind of is. What are the two different shells? Boy, is that a weird... Maybe it needs another cut. Control U. That's looking a little better. I don't even know what this is, this shell. Oh, that's... Why am I picking? Why is the other side included in this object? Alright, well let's try... Um, I'm f well, just laying these out again, because it... I guess it's a little better. I don't know. I don't know how this got stretched out again. Doesn't really need to be cut up more, but it seems like it's not unfolding right. Yeah. Oh, I see. Because it's attached to that part. Okay, that's that's the problem right there. All right. <coughs> there should be uh, around here. That should definitely be cut. Just make sure that's cut. Um, let's select these faces, and then unfold that. Mm. That's okay. This is not. And that's not so great. Those two are still... Yeah, again, I'll probably just have to do this more manually. Just rotating that, and... I'm just trying to make them look more square first. And I can scale it down to fit a little bit better. Still a little distorted, but better. Let's lay these out. 
All right. Uh, I fixed that already. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Just control L, way out. Okay. So that's looking better. Anyway, you hopefully you get the idea of the process. I kind of wouldn't do a wonderful job of that. Okay, so yeah, a few things to fix on this guy, but uh, mostly he's being, he's okay. I still think the shape of the eyelids and the lips could use a little bit of work on this guy. There's probably an extra split here on the lips that you don't need. Um, and we talked about sewing the face. So yeah, some improvements needed on that one. And uh, shoes, very boxy. Might work on the shape of those a little bit more. And probably need more geometry for those to bend. But yeah, right now they're just too boxy. And uh, yeah. Okay, this is Taylor. Um, so this has not been laid out, it looks like. And let's do Control L. Whoops. Alright, let's try fixing the uh, manifold geometry. That seemed to help. Oh, geez, there's all these crazy um, cuts in the lips. And I'm just going to isolate the head. Parts of this look okay, but this goes berserk here. Do you see what's happening there? Uh, and this is a case where, yeah, there's just all these uneven sounds. So I don't know exactly what's going on here. I might just start over. Um, so I'm going to do UV planar just to get it, you know, seamless. And hmm. that is interesting. So I think this is revealing a geometry problem because why would those cuts remain there if uh, look at that see that you've got all these holes in here they're all separated so to fix that what I would do is select all these verts and Edit mesh, merge, options, 0.01, merge, and then, actually we should hopefully see that fix right away. Oh, nope. Actually, let's try the planer again. And, yeah. So you see all of those went away now. Okay. So, you know, obviously that's not a good layout, but it's just, uh, just to get everything on the same. So, just deselecting here and here, and, well, no, not there, something like that, seems okay, I should probably have symmetry on, but Okay, so that'll be the face that will cut out. Might be a bit much, but I'll give it a shot. Um, Shift X, and the rest of the neck. Shift X, and slice down the back of the neck. And yeah, I don't want to cut the whole face. Shift X, is that working? Um, probably want to do the back of the head too, actually up to here. Shift X for cut. Oh, and around the ears. Let me just turn on symmetry, holding down W, symmetry, symmetry. Okay. 
and shift X to cut around those ears. All right, let's see if we can get away with that. Um, I might split. I'm probably going to split at least some of this chin because I can probably get away with that. And I think it's not going to whoops, be real happy about trying to um, lay it out without at least a little bit of a split there. So. All right, let's see how we're doing. Control U. Okay, always fix. And Control L. Um, and, uh, whoa. What is that? Oh, I thought we fixed that. Well, at least you got the idea, but what happened? I thought... No. Um. I don't know, I'll do a bigger number here, see if that works. Hmm, that might have done something bad. Point oh five or something. Seems better now. Uh, let's select those faces and control U. Hmm. What in God's name? Uh, select this shell. Uh, they're all little separate things. <sighs> Just going to select all that and then deselect these. And then see what happens if I do move and sew. If I can sew them back together. No. I don't know. Let's delete history of this and just, just try it again. Just double check these are all sticking together. No, it's still torn. What? I don't understand that. Mesh merge. It's clearly it's not torn here. Oh. Is that torn or is that just... No, I think that looks sound now. Let's delete history again. I don't know. Uh, planar. Okay, I'm not seeing all those weird things again. X. Just deselect, say so up to here. Shift X. Oops, I think I have to be in this window to do that. There we go. Let's turn off checkers for a moment. Okay, and uh around the ears, I think we said. Do I have symmetry on? I do. Nope, not that one. Oops. OK, 
Okay, click here, shift X, cut around the ears. And let's cut around the rest of the head. Don't want this in the back. Control select, whoops. Just control selecting that. Okay, we've got that over the top. <coughs> Let's connect that up down here. Shift X. Oh, and then we said maybe split the chin a little bit. Now let's unfold, control U, control L for layout. Ugh. Losing my mind. That is clearly not split apart. I'm just going to delete history here. So these are all, let's turn off symmetry for a second, they're not split apart, alright, they're not cut there, unfold, it's doing it again. Why? It's like the unfolding is somehow splitting the surfaces apart. That's so crazy. I'm just gonna cut these out. I'm just gonna move this separate from the rest. And then select these faces and unfold these. Lay those out. Look at that, I didn't even have these selected and added those cuts. Did that get rid of that weird actual surface problem? Yeah. And then if I unfold these, what in the world? I've just never seen anything like this before. Um, I think in this case, again, I, I'm finding this inexplicable. I feel like maybe there's some problem with the surface that I'm unable to see. Um, let me just run mesh cleanup with the normal lamina, non-manifold, edges zero length, faces with zero geometry. Looks like it did do some stuff. This is just absolutely bizarre. I'm I'm at uh, <laughs> totally at a loss. <sighs> what is going on? Let's just open the file again.
It's unbelievable because it's like the UV layout thing itself. It's like the unfolding is somehow splitting up the edges of the surface, which is just just absolutely unheard of in my experience. I've never seen anything like it. Run this a couple times. That does look problematic when I show that in smooth. Uh huh. Oh, so maybe it's the. I think it's the removing the lamina things that's doing the split and since that was part of the process of doing the unfold that's why we're seeing it happen there that kind of makes sense okay they're not split up now and let's try mesh cleanup again mesh Let's just leave it on three so we can see this. Mesh cleanup. Aha! Every time I do mesh cleanup and do the get rid of the lamina faces, it splits those up again. So that's what's happening. And because it has to do that to be able to unfold, it's splitting those up. which is uh, really weird. So I um, guess what I would do at this point is kind of rebuild these lips because something is just bizarre with this surface. So I'm um, just going to delete these and yeah I can already tell something seems wrong these like doubled up surfaces And this is looking a little funny, this edge here. So let's maybe use some surfaces, sculpt geometry options, smooth, stroke, reflection, and just try to smooth this a little bit. Because maybe not that much, but they're looking a little pinched there. And then. Um, are these looking okay still? Yeah. I'm just going to extrude that edge in. And let's circularize that. Hmm. Oh, it did that. Let's actually flatten this first before we try to do that. This direction. That's better. Let's twist to straighten that out. Okay. Oops. Um. Just add another one here maybe um, it might circularize that too shift uh, right mouse click extrude edge pull that back some more Okay, so I've got this mouth cavity now. Uh, maybe another loop here closer to this, and we 
could try just a little slide edge to round that out a little bit. Maybe close this a little bit. Whoa. Why is it not choosing those? Hmm. Some problematic stuff here. Shift right mouse click, delete vertex, control shift X, put this edge back in, put this one back in. <coughs> okay. Let's try sliding that edge again. And closing this out a little bit again. Okay. All right, so maybe that's a little bit better. It could be shaped a little bit more. I'm just gonna save this. see if what happens if we do the mesh cleanup now see if now that we've kind of rebuilt that ah okay now it's not doing that weird thing <laughs> all right so there was just something wrong with the surfaces of the lips I'm not it's kind of hard to pull it apart at this point to see what exactly but something was wrong so Rebuilding them was kind of the thing to do. Yeah, look at those splits. So let's um, planar just to unify everything again. And one more time. Shift X. Do I have symmetry on? I do not. Okay, now I do like those ears could be shaped a little bit more kind of flat in the back okay click here shift X cut those I guess we'll go across what here <coughs> shift X we said we'd split the back of the neck oh asymmetry here I'll fix that too before I unfold it, but at this point I'm just going to keep going. Um, you, know, you just have to just delete half the head and then re mirror it. Alright, let's just see if this is working now. Please. Control U, Control L. We're not getting all those crazy cuts now. Okay, that's a work. Well, obviously, you could do a better organization there, but at least this is a working uh, version of this. Uh, I don't know. Total mess here. Just need to turn over on this one. I mean, is it even? Is there even cuts? Just I don't even know going on with this. There's just cuts in weird random places. Alright, well, let's do it again. UV planer just to get it unified again and then let's isolate this. Whoa. Yeah, another problematic surface with a bunch of weird so let's run mesh cleanup on that again. Well, Really not looking good. <sighs> There's just a lot of um, really problematic faces and surfaces here that are really screwing this up. So, uh, yeah, I think you kind of need to go through and carefully delete all this stuff out um, before you try and lay that out. Um, geez. Jeez. 
I wonder if something got messed up when you turned it in, because this seems particularly crazy. I'm just doing control L and control. Well, that actually looks pretty reasonable. There's just little extra. I think there's a there's too many cuts here. You need to sew some of those and just have one cut at the shoulder instead of all these little slices. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened here. Let's unfold again. Lay out. No, well, that's not too bad. Just scale it down so it fits in one quadrant. Okay, that's looking fine. Now, uh, this doesn't look like it got laid out at all, so do the cuts and unfold and lay out. I'd like to know if this is what yours looked like because it, yeah, there's like a slice on every single. What's going on here? Um, it doesn't look like it's been really laid out at all. And there's just a million cuts. It's like he's cut every edge or something. So you sort of, I think you'd kind of have to start over on this one. Again, start with the planer. And then put in all your cuts. But you, I mean, you can just follow the video for that. I don't need to do this again and again. So yeah, I just, I think first of all, you need to get rid of any kind of crazy geometry like you had with the lips, and some of the crazy stuff on the hair. And then make sure you're just unfolding and laying out and putting in all the cuts. So uh, give it a shot and uh, let me know if you need some more help. Uh, this is. Um, Edania, and there's all these scene files in here. So make sure you, when you turn your file, do do like a um, file archive scene. It should create a zip file with just one scene file in there. So it's strange that you've got all these scene files. So I'm just going to open the most recent one and hope that that's it, because um, it's not really clear. Uh, looks like you didn't make any of the model updates I suggested, so you might refer to that last video. Again, unless this is the wrong scene file, which in case, let me know. Although from the thumbnail, it looks like the right one. So yeah, maybe refer to the last modules video for some model improvement. But I'm not going to focus on that now, so since I already went over that. Um, okay, yeah, looks like there's some issues on here. You can see uh, a lot of kind of crazy distortion and stuff there, and a lot of extra cuts here in the top that aren't necessary. So let's try to redo one of these. Um, I'll start from scratch. Actually, it doesn't look like they did the UV layouts at all on this boot. Because it looks like it's still kind of starting from what it looks like with a cube. So start with planar to unify it, and then go through and make all the cuts. But I would just say, since you haven't done it at all, just try and follow the vid video on that. I don't really need to redo it. Um, this looks OK. This looks wrong. It doesn't look like it's been laid out at all. It doesn't been unfolded at all. And all the cuts are in weird spots. So, um, because the issue, usually if it looks like it's still based on the cube it was before. But yeah, you can see how all these cuts are not in, in a sensible place. Um, and you have to cut off the shoulders. Um, yeah, we we'll just start over again. Just do a UV planer. Just uh, get it all one continuous surface. And then um, hold down W for symmetry. Make sure that's turned on. Cut off the sleeves. Shift X, uh, split down the side and the bottom of the arm, or some part of the arm, maybe here. 
and click here shift X for that and then uh, just kind of hook these up so we're separating the front and back of the shirt for some reason symmetry is not working for that shift X okay that should be enough so let's select these faces control U for unfold control L for layout it's not a very good layout you can manually fix that um, let's just scale it down a touch to make sure it fits in one quadrant check the checkers it looks good uh, it doesn't look like the face was laid out at all so again I could redo it but I would say you know just follow the video so it doesn't look like you unfolded your UVs or laid them out so this doesn't really look like it's been done at all um, However, when I look at here, it looks like you have, so I guess I might have the wrong file. It's just that I don't know which the right file is, because there's so many um, in here. But instead of the, instead of just turning in, you know, the one... I would just assume it's the most recent one, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's... But this is a, these are the ones from October 20th. Unless there's another scene file tucked in here somewhere, but I don't see anything. I mean, it looks like you've done it, but then when I open the file, it doesn't look like you've done it. Whole body done. Let me just check this just for fun. Let's have, um... Yeah, no, it's not. Okay, so I, I maybe you just have the wrong files turned in. But again, use archive scene, and it should just have one scene file in there. It shouldn't have a whole list of scene files. Okay, this is Catherine, and uh, those are looking good. This looks okay. Um, this looks like you have not really laid these out yet, so, you know, cut them up properly and unfold them. Um, same with that. That looks like a few too many cuts. I don't know why there's, for example, these here, and what are these little shells here? Let's see if you can maybe reduce the number of cuts in this. Um, I don't really, oh, it looks like, okay, that's a big mess. It doesn't look like that's been unfolded or laid out yet. Not, nor is that. So, yeah, just keep going and, um, you know, just follow the videos and, yeah, same with this. So, uh, you know, it's all in the original course videos how to do all these. So rather than me redo it on your character, take a look at those and uh, let me know if you need any help.